So this video is just a quick uh, summary of how to install carbon fiber strips on a poured basement wall. Um, here we're uh, surface grinding it with a 5 inch diamond grinder blade. We have a fancy shroud and a vacuum clean keeping the dust down. We've already completed uh, epoxy injection on this one. You can see all the paste from uh, completing that and uh, a completely filled crack with epoxy. Why you have to put carbon fiber on is because the epoxy will bond the wall back together but it does not prevent the load so the carbon fiber distributes the load so the epoxy does not fail in the future. Here we're just drilling a quick anti-slip anchor hole because gravity pulls the carbon down while it's curing. It's just an easy peasy little plastic pounding thing to stop gravity from messing up your carbon. Real easy. A couple options for cleaning the concrete. You can uh, I've gotten away with brooming and using a wet rag if you don't have a good vacuum. In our case, we have a vacuum that can hold the grinder to the wall, so we're here, we're just giving it a quick vacuum. If you look closely, you can actually see the dust lines being removed. Giving it a good vacuum completely from top to, top to the bottom. It's recommended to start from the top because it does cause dirt to fall. Then when you get near the floor, it's recommended to clean the area around it, so if you drop your trowel or roller in the future, you don't pick up a bunch of stuff on your roller. This this house did not require any kind of anchors because the floor is poured up against the bottom and the top's pinned by the joists in this case. I'm uh, using a level just to draw a straight line so my carbon ends up straight. Here's another option for cleaning, I'm just demonstrating the video, just a really good wet rag. Only condition of this is you gotta let it dry before you um, add the carbon. We would recommend vacuums, but this is another option if your vacuum's terrible. Here we're wetting the wall with the uh, carbon fiber epoxy, just rolling it on. No no tube sets or uh, caulking guns required. It just rolls on like paint. Comes in jugs, mixes real easy. Just getting a nice. Uh, this is 8 inch carbon we're applying on this one so it's only 2 roller widths, pretty easy. And then you wet the back side of the carbon. The carbon's, uh, both sides are identical but in this case we're calling it the back because we need to wet the back of it. So here I'm applying epoxy to the back of the carbon fiber. And when you apply it to the wall you want the epoxy on the wall and the stuff you just rolled on to touch each other. Because the idea is to saturate the carbon. So you see how I'm applying the wet side to the wall? This is an important step here. So the wet side goes to the wall. And then you just kind of play with it, get it nice and straight, follow your line. You can drag it up and down the wall. It, it, it moves pretty easily. Our epoxy is pretty manageable. This, it's important to saturate completely through any dry spots and you're, you're, you're losing strength. Some of our competitors come in a tube set and they just have dry spots all over the place. And you're basically wasting half your carbon fiber strength. Here we're pushing the anti-slip anchor through. We've uh, upgraded these to just plastic pound-in ones now. A little easier to use than the metal ones we have here. These trowels, it's important to uh, hold the carbon while you're troweling. So the carbon has, the, the trowels have a sharp edge and a flat edge. I'm using the sharp edge to hold it and the flat edge to trowel it. The idea is to force the epoxy through the carbon to saturate it. So I haven't rolled this yet, so any epoxy you see on top is from behind it being pushed through it getting it nice and saturated. See how I'm holding it with one trowel and troweling with the other? That's, that's an important technique to get used to. And then you roll a top coat on, starting from the middle out, it's recommended. Or wherever the crack is usually is what I call middle. In this case is just above middle, but yeah, the middle. And then you re repeat the troweling, and then you do another top coat on top of that, and that strap's pretty much done. You can add more epoxy later on, like before you're done the job, but at the moment this strap is installed. As soon as you're done troweling the top coat in, and then you add a, give it a quick roll so it looks nice and smooth, and you're done. From the middle out is important, just like that, and that's one strap. We, as professionals, we can do six to ten an hour, depending on the room conditions. Um, a homeowner can probably go look and realistically looking at three, but it's up to you.